Every now and then, you come across a movie that exists outside of the traditional ideas of good and bad. These are the weird ones, forgotten sequels, offbeat ideas, and the obscure but secretly awesome cult classics that you just can't believe are real. Trust us though, these movies actually exist, and they're every bit as bizarre as they sound. Karate Bear Fighter If movies were judged by the quality of their titles, 1975's Karate Bear Fighter would be considered one of the greatest films of all time. Unfortunately, it'll just have to settle for being the greatest man vs animal martial arts spectacular that most people have never heard of. The story follows the great Sonny Chiba as Masu Totsu Oyama, a karate master forced to fist fight a bear to the death in order to raise money to pay for a child's medical bills. Admittedly, the actual bear fight isn't that great and pretty clearly involves Chiba slugging it out with a man in an ill-fitting costume, but it's still fun to watch. And the best part? It's based on a true story. No, really. Oyama was a very real person whose strength in karate and tendency to fight bulls earned him the nickname God Hand. Chiba was actually one of his students and starred in an entire trilogy of movies that were very loosely based on Oyama's life. Karate Bear Fighter is the second, sandwiched in between Karate Bullfighter and Karate for Life. Pottersville To say that Pottersville is a bad movie is sort of like saying outer space is cold. It is but it's far more accurate to talk about it in terms of its boundless mysteries and the improbable presence of so many stars. Based on the title and the otherwise irrelevant Christmas time setting, Pottersville seems like a weird sort of sequel to It's a Wonderful Life, except that it takes place in the bad timeline where George Bailey was never born. There's even a scene at the end that mirrors the heartwarming ending of the original. To my big brother George, the richest man in town. <laughs> except that the version in Pottersville involves one of the characters calling a town meeting to browbeat everyone into not sucking as humans. Even that comes after 80 minutes of a plot based around a man getting blackout drunk dressed up as a Sasquatch because he finds out his wife is a furry who's been cheating on him with the local sheriff. The weirdest thing about it is how much star power it has. Academy Award winner Michael Shannon stars with Christina Hendricks, Thomas Lennon, Ian McShane and Ron Perlman. Since it definitely seems like they're getting their scenes done in as few takes as humanly possible, it's hard to shake the feeling that someone was actually trying to pull off the scheme from the producers. Under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Rubber Despite the title, 2010's Rubber is not a horror film about an evil prophylactic. Although if that's what you're into, you may want to check out 1996's Killer Condom. Instead, this one's an 82-minute French movie about a tire named Robert that comes to life, gains psychokinetic powers, and then goes on a killing spree. Because really, what else is a tire going to do? It's a weird idea, but Rubber seems to draw its inspiration from some pretty weird places. At one point, there's a scene where a sheriff tries to blow Robert up by dressing up a mannequin and then loading it up with dynamite in the style of Wile E. Coyote. According to director Quentin Dupieux, though, his biggest inspiration was Pixar's Wally. -E. Uh, sure. Why not? The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T TV specials like How the Grinch Stole Christmas are among the most well-known and beloved television programs of all time. But here's one piece of the Dr. Zeus canon that's rarely discussed. The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T a mind-boggling look from 1953 at the horrors of piano lessons. Of course, it might be so obscure because it was such a dismal failure that Zeus made no mention of it in his autobiography. There was even a moment on set when one child actor got sick and led to a chain reaction of 150 boys all vomiting at once, which Zeus compared to the film's critical reception. So of course, it's absolutely worth watching. Set in a fantasy world that recreates Dr. Zeus's signature look on a live-action soundstage, the story follows 10-year-old Billy as he's menaced by a nightmare version of his piano teacher, Dr. Tewilika. In the dream world, Tewilika's strict music lessons are twisted into a mad plot to enslave 500 children to play a single gigantic piano, which will somehow help him brainwash and marry Billy's mum. It's a truly strange film, and the dizzying set designs are as disorienting as you'd expect. But after a recent home video release, Dr. T has managed to become a cult classic. Going Bananas the canon group could fill an entire list of unbelievable movies all by themselves, thanks to flicks like Ninja 3 The Domination, Hard Rock Zombies, and American Cyborg Steel Warrior. Even compared to those though, Going Bananas is one of the weirdest movies of all time. In terms of plot, it's actually pretty basic. A shockingly intelligent orangutan named Bonzo befriends a young American boy named Ben during a safari in Africa, which is referred to as the darkest and cruelest of all continents, because movies were still pretty racist in 1987. 
Hijinks ensue, including Bonzo being kidnapped by a circus, flying an airplane, and straight up speaking English. And yes, in case you were wondering, Bonzo's screeching falsetto voice is among the worst pieces of audio ever committed to film. Bonzo loves According to a documentary about Canon Films, the original plan was for the film to feature Clyde, the orangutan co-star of Every Which Way But Loose. Execs began pitching the movie to Clyde, who, and we cannot stress this enough, was an orangutan. They see you, and he looked at the monkey. And from now on, he kept talking to the monkey. In the end, Clyde dropped out, probably because the role would have required him to speak English and fly an airplane. And the part went to Deep Roy, and a truly terrible ape costume instead. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.